This thing is interesting. I actually have no idea what it could be. So, it's this thing you can adjust a number on it by turning this dial. And right here it has this little kind of waveguide. So I'm wondering if you hook this up to some kind of microwave device, and you can adjust the impedance through the waveguide uh, of something. So you put this in line between your transmitter and your antenna, and then that you can adjust the cavity size inside here. Maybe that adjusts the impedance of the waveguide. Dan, very interesting. Hello, this is Tech. And today I'm back in the electronics warehouse, and I'm going to be finding some parts for a lot of future videos, and planning a lot of future videos inside here by getting parts for them. So I'm going to walk around the electronics warehouse store and see if I can find some good parts to make these future videos with. I've already found this interesting circuit board, and it's pretty strange. It's just got a bunch of uh, uh, LEDs and some potentiometers and some discrete components on it. And I think it would be cool to figure out exactly what this device does in a future video. It was made by somebody probably a long time ago. You can also find some other cool parts. Let's get started. All right, so this aisle is pretty cool. This is the capacitor aisle, and they've got a load of huge capacitors inside here. Like, check this one out. This capacitor is massive. This thing will make an enormous capacitor bank. This thing was only for about five bucks. So I'm gonna get like six of these and make a giant capacitor bank. That'll be pretty cool. Check that out. That's a load of capacitors, especially for five bucks each. This will make a giant capacitor bank. This entire store is just full of components. Check that out. That's a variable 2.5k resistor at 50 watts of rheostat. Probably won't get that, but that could be useful somewhere. Check this out. This capacitor is 84,000 microfarads at 10 volts. It's five, five bucks. That's pretty good. Of course, to charge that capacitor bank, I'll need some giant resistors, so you know, we can limit the current. Check this out. These little wheels will be good to make a robot or something. This little, uh, CD power adapter looks pretty interesting. Let's grab this, see how it works. Little DC volt measuring system to measure the charge in my capacitor bank. That'll be helpful. And I'll grab that one too. That looks pretty cool. To measure the percent charge something is. I'll need a lot of these wire connectors to connect my capacitor bank together. Oh, can definitely have some fun with this massive electromagnet. I could use this for my coil gun. Hopefully it would work. Hmm, I need a new pair of one of these. This will be useful. What's in here? Power supplies. Pretty cool. Laser cartridge. This whole entire aisle is full of switches. Look at that. Surplus toggle switch. It's nice that they give 10 of them in a box. Cool. All right, so I'm not gonna buy this, but I'm wondering what it is. This is weird. 12 volts, it has like a buzzer, a bell for $4. What is this? This is interesting. There's all these little connectors on the wall. I'm not sure what these connectors are go to. I mean, they'd probably go to each other. But there's just tons of them. It's hundreds. Can't imagine any of these things ever get used anymore or bought. Here's a little variable inductor, new in the box. Wow. This is .0085 Henry's or something. Here's a full bridge rectifier. This looks pretty cool. It's a transformer, and by the looks of it, it's 120 volts down to 1 volt at 600 amps. Wow. Have you ever had that issue where there's whining noises from the generator in your CB or ham radio? Well, this will fix it. Ooh, check this out. That is a big silicon controlled rectifier. I think I might need to get this. A microcomputer regulator. I wonder 
if that is for those old fashioned computers and you have to plug them into this regulator check this out just this giant line any part you could ever need capacitors resistors everything look at this an AC amp meter well I think I need this one of those transformer heads looks like they could be pretty useful for a uh, coil gun or perhaps something else this transformer core will come in handy for a coil gun or maybe an electromagnetic interference detector This fan looks pretty interesting, but if you look on the back, it says 24 volts and 15 microfarads. So you're going to need a capacitor and a transformer to power this fan. Very interesting. I think I'll take those. Well, there you go. That's the stuff that I got here at the uh, electronics warehouse. Looks pretty cool. All those parts will be used in future videos, and the money that's going to be used to buy those parts was provided by the ad revenue of these videos. So, I like to make videos using the money that I get from making videos because it's pretty cool. So stay tuned for these next videos that are going to be coming out because they're going to be pretty cool. You don't want to miss that capacitor bake.